moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section we will take a rectangular cross section like this and we will find out what is the moment of inertia of this kind of rectangular cross section we will take the rectangle of breadth b and height h we will assume a small elemental strip because we want to integrate we want to do this by integration because we know the moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section will be equal to it is integration of y square into da we already dealt that with the help of this quantity we can able to find out the moment of inertia of any axis here we have chosen an axis which is passing through the centroid so this point is a centroid we know the geometrical center this point is centroid we know if we pass an axis and that axis is called as a centroidal axis and this axis can also be called as a centroidal axis axis yy we will find out the moment of inertia about xx as well as yy moment of inertia of a uh, rectangular cross section ixx will be equal to integration of y square into da so if we if you want to find out the moment of inertia then we need to find out what is y and what is this da this y is nothing but the distance away from the reference axis and this distance is called as y where we have assumed this small elemental area so this distance is y and this da is the area of this small rectangular strip so for this strip what is the area so what will be the area of the small strip the breadth b into this thickness this thickness is dy this small thickness is uh, dy so what will be the area of this small strip so the area will be equal to the total breadth into dy that will be the area so if you put everything into this equation then uh, ix will be equal to integration of y square into instead of da now we can substitute b into dy so from where to where we we have to do the integration so we have taken a small strip right here we have taken a small strip right here and we want to find out the moment of inertia of the whole thing for the whole rectangle for the whole height we have to integrate so from this bottom we have taken the, here as the reference axis x axis so we have to integrate the small strip from this particular bottom to this particular top so from minus b by 2 to plus uh, minus h by 2 to plus h by 2 we have to do the integration so from minus h by 2 to plus h by 2 we have to do the integration so we have to integrate it from minus h by 2 to plus h by 2 we have to do the integration so if we do the integration then uh, we know that we, b can be taken out and integration of y square dy will be equal to uh, y cube by 3 so if we substitute upper limit and lower limits so finally we will get moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section will be equal to b into h cube by 12 this is the result of uh, resistance towards bending with respect to xx axis is b into h cube by 12 if we find out the same moment of inertia with respect to yy axis then we need to take a strip that is vertical strip which we should integrate from minus b by 2 to plus b by 2 from this portion to this portion if we Uh, integrate this small strip then we can able to find out the moment of inertia of the entire rectangle so if we find out moment of inertia of the rectangle uh, integration of the rect moment of inertia of the rectangle with respect to y axis it is integration of uh, x square into da moment of inertia about the x axis is integration of y square da moment of inertia about the y axis is integration of x square into da again this da here it is the total height into the thickness dx moment of inertia of this rectangular area will be equal to the whole height into dx so if we plug all these terms into the equation then finally we will get moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section with respect to y axis is h into b cube by 12 h into b cube by 12 so this is with respect to x axis and this is the resistance with respect to y axis we will take a small example we will take a small uh, steel rule which is having a thickness of uh, breadth of b and thickness of d so this is your steel rule if it find out the moment of inertia about x x axis that is b into h d cube by 3 b into d cube by 12 if we find out the moment of inertia about the y axis that is d into b cube by 3 so h b into h cube by 12 and h into b cube by 12 are not the same 
so if we find out the magnitude b into h cube in this case b into d cube by 3 will be a small number but whereas if we find out the moment of inertia about the y axis that will be equal to h into b cube by so d into b cube by 12 so b is is very small uh, b is a very large number when compared to d and that is again when it is cubed it will be a very large number so moment of inertia about the y y axis will be very very large when when we compare with moment of inertia about the x x axis both values are not same so in this case the steel rule will be very easier to bend in one orientation but whereas in another orientation it will be very hard to bend in this orientation it will be easier to bend but if we make the steel rule to stand in another orientation and if we try to bend it it is never possible to bend it is because of the resistance offered by the geometry itself it is not about any material but the resistance offered by the geometry itself with respect to some axis will be very very large even though the cross section area is same the orientation uh, differs the resistance towards the bending will also differ that's the story about moment of inertia about the moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section thank you